town and population of Gordon has expanded rapidly to 20,000 people by the 19th century and new churches were required to provide for the spiritual needs of the people according to the vicar of Croydon at the time. He discussed this need with Archbishop of Canterbury John Sumner and together with the patron Simeon Trustees they generously provided the funds and decided to build Christ Church in the new development of Broad Green. The original church building was built in 1851 and designed by the architect Samuel Toulon in the Gothic style with bath stone dressings and flint facing on a brick structure. It was able to seat 700 people. Christ Church was consecrated by Archbishop Sumner on Tuesday, July 27, 1852 and the Bishop of Winchester preached on 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In 1860, further expansion to the building of Christ Church was needed to accommodate the growing congregation of a thousand. Archbishop Sumner again generously supplied the financial support to extend the nave and chancel. Then in 1862, a manual organ was installed to lead the music during worship. The Reverend Octavius Byers became the first vicar of Christ Church and served as a vicar for 55 years from 1852 to 1908. During his ministry, the Boys and Infant School was opened in 1857 and then the Girls School in 1858 at a cost of £700. These schools were built adjacent to the church in Longley Road on the site of the President Vicarage and educated 400 children a glowing report from Her Majesty's Inspector of Schools in 1865 stated the schools are well attended and most satisfactory. Christ Church was very active in the locality of Woodley, with the Providence Society, a Lion Hunt Society, a children's penny bank, three Sunday schools, four day schools, a winter night school for girls and young women, a general London library and a loan of tracks. Additionally, Christ Church was active in its support of wider Christian missions to these societies. Church mission, church pastoral aid, Irish church missions, gospel propagation, and Church of England scripture readers. Throughout its long history, Christ Church has always been evangelical in outlook. Its first outreach mission was led by Rodan Whitfield in 1874. Further building work occurred in 1910 to 1912 when Reverend Lilford Corston was the vicar of Christ Church and the Byers Memorial Hall, a meeting hall, was built in Hancroft Road. Also, 19, also in 1910, the exterior and interior of the church was renovated and electric light installed. Thankfully, during the two world wars, Christ Church building was preserved from any damage. In 1952, Christ Church held its centenary celebration. Over time, there was deterioration of the building and the Christ Church School was closed in 1958. In 1978, there were structural problems with the church building, necessitating the original church to be closed. But the congregation met for worship at the Briars Memorial Hall on Hancroft Road and also used the neighbouring parish. Shockingly, in December 1985, the South Transept caught fire and virtually the whole of the church building was badly damaged. Architectural designs were then drawn up by Maurice Taylor and the KC White Partnership for a new church building. The new building was completed in April 1991 and opened by the Bishop of Southwark. Ronald Balby on the 23rd of June 1991. The year, the 13-year building project was overseen by Reverend Colin Ford and the PCC. During the riots of August 2011, when there was looting and fire damage on London roads, emergency services were supported by church members. They used the hall as a base for their local operations. When celebrating its centenary, Archbishop Geoffrey 
where Christ Church has had a great record of evangelistic and missionary zeal. We have continued to do this by faithfully teaching and preaching God's word through evangelism and overseas mission support and our practical help in the local community through the floating shelter for the homeless, refugee day centre, food bank and meeting other practical needs. The Apostle Paul, writing to early Christians, said, Our gospel came to you. You welcomed our message. The Lord's message rang out from you. We also desire to be a sounding board for God's good news, to ring out from here loudly, clearly, well into the future.